I have never come to the post office and saw everybody walking in there wearing a mask. It's really beautiful out today. I don't even know why I have this light sweatshirt on, but it's a little breezy. Um, come on, Jax. Don't eat that. Jackson's always looking for something to eat, if you guys don't know already. Um, some to munch on outside, but come on. But we're going to um, finish our walk, and Rosario's just inside getting ready. Um, we got to go to the post office and do a few other errands. And, uh, yeah, we'll see you in a bit. Guys, we reached the post office, and... Um, it's still, it looks, you know, like so strange to me to see like people like that don't have cystic fibrosis with masks on um, or other chronic illnesses. It's just, uh, obviously, I don't know if these people walking have chronic illnesses, but I have never come to the post office and saw everybody walking in there wearing a mask. Of course, it's different times now. So um, it's still like almost a bit shocking to me. You know, it's funny, like when I would be... Um, going places if I saw someone else with a mask on like the mall or the supermarket I obviously knew like okay they could have ZF or they have another type of chronic illness like you just it was kind of like a sign that um that their immune system isn't as built up as the rest of the world like mine so uh yeah it's still just so interesting to me but obviously it's something that has to be done and I'm thankful to see that um all the other people are wearing one for their protection as well as our protection just everyone's protection so it's nice to see people following the rules i do know there are some out there that don't like following the rules when they go into like stores and stuff and i've seen a video at target actually where we live that somebody got thrown out of the store for not wearing one um we were cracking up laughing you know it reminded me kind of of when somebody comes walking into our cf clinic without a mask and you kind of just want to yell at them but it's not your plate so you keep your mask on of course and just stay far away um way more than the six foot rule <laughs> but um yeah years ago the six foot rule was a thing now it's like they kind of don't even want us in the same room so anyway that's what's uh, happening even before um, COVID, we still shouldn't have been in the same room if we didn't have to be. So, like, as soon as I go into clinic, they immediately put me in my own private room, which is great. Um, so, yeah, that's just uh, interesting. And, um, yeah, we'll Guys, see. We're having a little lunch break in the car. And then we have to go to Rosario's parents' house. Wendy's cheeseburger. Which is about, like, 20, 25 minutes away to get... Um, some papers for work that was mailed there so we're having junior cheeseburgers we didn't get fries I'm not like too too hungry but I did get our frosty so that I get some extra calories and we'll probably just have a little bit of an early dinner at least so that's it bon appetito Jackson is loving the boardwalk we're not actually like on the boardwalk we came down to the walking area but he's so happy to see all the other puppies. He's just so social and loves being out. Jax, are you doing a tongue out, tongue out Tuesday? You having fun? It's a TOT, tongue out Tuesday for Jackson. <laughs> Hi, baby. Hi. Hey guys. Oh, that sea air. It smells so good and refreshing. Um, there's really not many people near us at all, so just taking a little break from the mask. I hit a milestone today, guys. 184 pounds. Ooh. Down from 218. He's doing amazing, guys. He tried on his summer clothes last night, and like most of his shorts were really big, but the ones that were small last year fit him like nice with room, so. He's really doing a great job. Jackson, don't eat the garbage. Jackson is trying to get a snack. As you guys notice, I'm eating anything I want. I had Wendy's today. I've had 
had pizza. When these, burgers. we just had a cheeseburger, which is still. Oh, yeah, but still. I'm but it's into your calories. Yeah, I'm not you're able. I'm myself. I'm just sticking to my calorie budget, which. Um, which is working. Good. Yeah. I mean, he's able to eat what he wants you as long as it's like budgeted you're, you're, in the calories. You don't so. feel like you're really um, depriving really. yourself, yeah? Because you're really not. You're just, you're just sticking with. You're just keeping things in moderation. The parameters you know. of your budget. So. Pretty cool. Pretty cool. Tomorrow, um, so our nephew's been trying to do his blood work at Quest for the transplant to be a donor, and he went there like three to four times already and they've given him an issue which is they're just ridiculous they don't want to give him the bloods back but that's how the transplant center wants it for him to take them back and send them to fedex um so that we know they get there and um yeah so tomorrow um my old nurse tara you guys met who i've remained friends with she is uh going to draw his bloods at the house so they'll be over in the morning to do that. And um, yeah, we'll take it from there. My cousin, she did her blood work um, at Quest. She had to go back there at least three times because she had issues too. And uh, she said she had to do everything but scream at them. But thank God it worked out. Um, they forgot to do a tube, she had to go back. But everything's in and um, they are processing the results up at the transplant center. So. Uh, yeah we'll see hopefully one of them are a match god willing and um we'll take it from there and keep you posted guys jackson had himself a day at the park he um he decided to roll around in the grass and got like these hay type of pieces and twigs stuck in his hair and we cannot get them out without giving him a bath so stinky boy's all clean now not smelling so stinky and uh we think most of the stuff came out of his hair we wanted to just shave him but we don't have a dog clippers so yeah we're gonna have to order those i think in case this happens again yeah i know you're trying to dry yourself on grandma's rug yeah that's always good you have to daddy blue dry you with a blue dryer hey guys it's bedtime i think last we saw you guys jackson had just finished with his bath oh that puppy he drives us nuts but we love him so much um he just really is mr nature he loves to roll around in the grass and everything but today he took in all kinds of I don't know what on him so um like twigs kind of and branches and it was stuck because his hair is so curly and we couldn't get it out without bathing him so he definitely needs a haircut but um it's bedtime I just took my um trichafta and I had some popcorn that was really good I'm still on the popcorn bin that I got for my birthday there's a ton of it there but it's so good and I hope it doesn't run out, um, but I know eventually it will. So I'm just taking my pills and you guys will be proud of me. I don't think I've used applesauce in like over a month, which is pretty good for me. Um, and I kind of got my pills down to like one eight ounce glass of water instead of like five. So that's another plus. There's a lot of pluses going on today besides the dog needing um, a bath. But yeah, look at me. I'm taking all of these in one shot and then I have two more uh mouthfuls of pills i guess and that's really it so thank you guys for watching we hope you are having a great night and um we're a bit behind with uploading the vlogs uh you would think being home we would have more time to upload vlogs but we've just been uh busy doing things and um and trying to keep up with getting enough rest because as 
kidney failure goes on, I feel like I'm more tired than I have been. So it's good to get the extra rest that's needed. And um, yeah, today I was a bit winded after being at the park walking around and everything and I just needed to rest before uh, doing anything else. But then we came down, we cooked, we had dinner from giving him a bath upstairs and um, then I did a ton of cleaning, yes. I cleaned some of the floors, I cleaned the whole bathroom, um, the entire kitchen, the counters, all that stuff cleaned up a bit. Um, Want to make sure we have enough room tomorrow for my nephew and my uh, nurse that's coming. Uh, you guys have met her, as I said before, in the past. So she'll be here tomorrow, Tara, and she'll be uh, drawing Shakim's blood work. That's our nephew. And um, yeah, so we could see, as you guys know, that he is a blood type match. And um, he has, rather, I have some antibodies that he doesn't have. So that's what we have to figure out to see if it will be compatible. So I believe they do something like mixing the bloods and stuff to see. My blood and his blood, mine's actually frozen right now at the lab because uh, with Quest taking their sweet time and never drawing the blood and giving us problems, mine couldn't last too much longer without freezing. So that's what's happening. And um God willing, they'll get it by tomorrow morning. It should be overnighted. We're going to FedEx it and, um, yeah, get the ball rolling. So we hope you guys have a great night. Uh, we'll see you tomorrow, and thanks for watching.